A ladder 25 feet long is leaning against the wall of a house. The base of the ladder is pulled away from the wall at a rate of 2 feet per second. Consider the triangle formed by the side of the house, the ladder, and the ground. Okay. Considered. Find the rate at which the area of the triangle is changing when the ladder is 20 feet from the wall. So. Let's start putting in some dimensions to the picture that we know. We know we're talking about a situation where this length is 20 feet, uh, where this length is the length of the ladder. That would be fixed at 25 all the time. And a situation where the base of the ladder is pulled away from the wall at a rate of 2 feet per second. So that's going to be moving over there at two feet per second. Related rates problems are always the same. Our goal is always going to be to relate the quantities to each other somehow using a formula. And I wonder what kind of formula we could use to relate the quantities together. Oh, how about the area of a triangle? That's a good one. The area of a triangle is equal to one half base times height. Now we can treat this 20 feet as the base. Don't know much about the height, but we could find it out because we can use the Pythagorean theorem because we know about the other two sides. So we know that 20 squared plus height squared would be equal to 25 squared. 20 squared is 400 and 25 squared is 625. I will subtract 400 from both sides. h squared will be equal to 225, and that means that the height at this moment is actually the square root of 225, which is 15, at least the positive square root is anyway. Okay, so that's going to be good to know for sure especially if you wanted to find area, but that's not the case actually. We need to find the rate at which the area of the triangle is changing. That means before plugging stuff into this, we should look at the derivative implicitly with respect to time of the area function. One piece at a time. We have the derivative of a, which will just be dA dt, a constant, which I will keep out here, and uh, inside that bracket, we encounter two functions with, uh, in terms of t, or at least implied to be in terms of t, multiplied together. So we will apply the product rule. That will be the left function times the derivative of the right function plus the right function times the derivative of the left function. The equation that results should have the answer in it. Let's take stock. dA dt, the rate at which area is changing, exactly what we're looking for, so we're not expecting to have that. The base, surely we have that. Uh, the rate at which height is changing, well, we have h. We don't know dH dt exactly. I have to get back to you on that one. But dB dt, yes, we actually know that the base is extending itself at two feet per second. So let's just go back and deal with this dH dt really quick. How can we get that? Let's go back to the Pythagorean theorem. Only this time, let's be general with it. Remember, it's true that base squared plus height squared is equal to uh, hypotenuse squared. I used h twice, but that's okay, because I'm actually going to use 25 for the hypotenuse, and take the derivative of this to see if I can pull out dH dt. I won't need to worry about this since it's not going to change. Its derivative will be 0, as you're about to see. The derivative of this equation is 2b dB dt, remember the chain rule, plus 2h dH dt is equal to 0. Now we know all of these variables, they're the same variables as before, but this will allow us to find dH dt. So we'll take that detour real quick and start plugging things in and solving. 
I wrote them out here just for reference. I just got them from this picture. So we're going to have 2 times 20 times 2 plus 2 times 15 times dh dt equals 0. We'll take a moment to simplify. That's going to be 80 plus 30 dh dt. I will subtract 80 from both sides. I will divide both sides by 30. And I'll have my number for dh dt, which is, a second here, just about 2.67, actually negative 2.67 feet per second. Makes sense because this distance is closing. All right, excellent. We've got our dh dt. Let's add it to the collection. Check it off and plug in for da dt. So here we go. Our answer, da dt equals one half, a big bracket, and 20 times negative 2.67 plus 15 times positive 2. And running all of this into your calculator will get you negative 11.7 feet squared per second. Feet squared, we're talking about area after all. And negative because clearly this triangle is just getting smaller and smaller and smaller.